Hello and welcome to this Kilna tutorial. Today we will be showing you how to fill and seal your Kilna jars. Before you start you will need the following Kilna equipment. Maslin pan, pan rack, jam funnel, jar tongs, relative Kilna jars, ladle, lid lifter and metallic spatula. Check your jars for any defects. If you find any cracks or chips, please discard your jars and replace with new ones. The first thing you need to do is to tip away any excess water which might be inside your jars. It is important to fill your kilner jars whilst the jam is warm and the jar is warm. Place the funnel on top of your jar and using your ladle pour your jam into the jars. Fill to the bottom of the jar neck. Remove your funnel. Next, before you seal your jars, you need to remove any excess air bubbles from inside the jar. To do this, using a metallic spatula, carefully slide it down the side of the jar and slowly move the jar to remove any air bubbles. Using a clean J cloth, wipe around the rim to remove any jam debris. You are now ready to seal your jars. If you are using the Kilner Preserve jar, you need to add your metal disc. To avoid any contamination, use your lid lifter to pick up the disc and place onto the top of the jar. Finally, pick up the screw band with the lid lifter and screw tight. If you're using the Kilner Twist Top Jar, again using your lid lifter, place the lid onto the top of the jar and screw tightly closed. Finally, if you're using the Kilner Clip Top Jar, ensure the rubber seal is securely placed onto the lid. Close the lid and tighten using the clips. Once you have sealed your jars, you are now ready to move on to the processing stage. Processing your Kilner jars is an important part of the preserving process and is used to remove excess air and eliminate bacteria by creating a pressure seal. Place your Kilner Maslin pan onto the hob and place the pan rack inside. Carefully place your jars inside the pan. Fill the pan with cool water, making sure water covers the top of the jars. Bring to the boil and simmer for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, turn the heat off and allow to cool. Carefully remove the jars using the jar tongs and place onto a chopping board which is at room temperature. Do not place hot jars onto cold surfaces. Once you have removed your jars from the water, you may hear popping sounds. This is perfectly normal and indicates air is escaping and a pressure seal is forming. Leave your Kilner jars to cool for 24 hours. After 24 hours, you need to check the seals have formed correctly. If you are using the Kilner Preserve jar, a successful seal will result in a convex lid. A failed seal will show the disc moving up and down when pressed. The same applies to the Kilner Twist Top jars. Finally, if you're using the Kilner Clip Top jar, Make sure the seal has formed correctly by first holding the lid down and gently undo the clips. Slowly let go of the clip. If the lid does not pop open, then the seal has formed correctly. Your finished jam can be stored in a cool dry place for up to six months. If for any reason you have a failed seal, reprocess your jars by immersing them in water again and bringing to the boil again for a further 30 minutes. For more handy hints and tips, please visit our website www.kilnajar.co.uk